Hey there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey, and in this video I wanted to show you a really good off-ice hockey training program called Hockey OT. Now, if you've been following me for any amount of time at all, you know I'm a huge believer in improving your skills as well as your strength and conditioning off the ice, away from the rink. In my opinion, there's no better way to gain an edge over your opponent than by bettering yourself while you're not at the rink. Everybody goes to the rink, everybody has the same practices, the same games, but what really sets the champions apart from the other players is who's doing stuff on their own at home, away from the rink. So Hockey OT is a, a great way, great strength and conditioning program that's gonna allow you to gain that edge over your opponent. So go ahead, click the link in the description, you'll be taken to HockeyOT.com, and from there, you'll be able to sign up, get your password and everything else. What I want to do in this video is actually take you through a walkthrough of the members area so you can get a first-hand look at what to expect uh, with your membership at Hockey OT. So we'll go ahead and click the members login. And I've already uh, entered my password and everything else, so we're taken straight to the starting page. As soon as you log into Hockey OT, this is the getting started page you're going to see. As you can see, it's pretty easy. It's five steps to get yourself up and rolling on the program. Before you start the five steps, what you're going to want to do is take a look at the safety document. That basically just outlines anything you might need to be concerned about, um, you know, anything you might need to check with your doctor on, make sure you have good form on your lifts, all that good stuff, just to make sure that you're healthy, capable, and uh, ready to do this program and complete it safely. After you've taken a look at the safety document, go ahead and click step one. That's fill out your user profile. The user profile section is pretty straightforward. Put in your name, your email, or sorry, put in your email address, uh, your gender, your birthday, all that stuff, um, level of experience, basic stuff. From there, um, we'll just click back. We'll go to step two. Now, you can go through these steps in this order on this page, or as you can see, there's a configuration section over here on the left, and that's got pretty much the same steps. So you're going to go through user settings. That's the one we just looked at. Um, and then we've got your baseline test, your athletic test, test results, equipment check, and it kind of goes through the same thing. And then once you're done, you're going to generate your routine. That's where you, you come down here. So it's, they, they overlap. You can go through the same things on the left side as you're going through on this page, just to let you know. So we'll go to the next one, complete your baseline test. In order for Hockey OT, Hockey OT creates custom programs for each person that's a member of their program. So it's not the same program for everybody. That's one of the things I really like about Hockey OT is it's a customized program. So before it'll generate your routine for you, you need to take some tests. So you've got two days worth of physical testing. What you're gonna do is download the testing explanation, download the testing sheet, then you're gonna go ahead and do your test. Now I can show you what's in the test. So um, as easy as you get your warm up, any of these, like if you don't know, you know what it is, you can just click on it and it pops up a quick video. So if you don't know what a front plank is, for example, just click the button, boom, pops up a video, okay, shows you a quick explanation. Feet are shoulder width, elbows are shoulder width, and you're going to lift up into a plank position and hold. Somebody can time you on this one or you can time. Okay, so you've got uh, video explanations for every exercise in the program, which comes in really handy because, you know, sometimes you might even be familiar with a lift or with an exercise, but you haven't heard it called that name before. So it's just a quick way to see and make sure you're hitting the main points on, on each exercise. So you're going to go through your fitness tests, um, put them in, and then, uh, sorry, go ahead, do your fitness tests, and then come back and fill in your testing sheet. So you're going to do day one and day two. So you fill in your results. Mine are already in here because I've done it. And then you click save and then you go back. Then you do day two. Same thing exactly. Download the testing sheet. If you need to look at what any of these mean, you know, watch the video on it and then fill in your testing sheet. Again, I've already done mine. So that's there. Okay. Back to the testing explanation. Now, after you've done that, you can click through. We're going to go to test results. You can take a look at your two tests. So these are the track tests, these are the weight room tests. You can see your results, and this is really neat. You click view, and then um, here's your test results. So this is the current test, this is my most recent one. I've only done one, so um, it's showing my the same test three times here. So this is my current test. Then as you go, you retest, so you can continually check your progress. So you're gonna see your previous result, and then the first time you ever did the test. So you can track how well you're improving um, and what the dates were and everything else. So you've got your current test, your previous result, and then your first result. For me, like I said, these are all coming in the exact same thing because I've only done one test so far. So here's another really cool thing about it is um, not only does it show you your result, but it also shows you what percentile you fall in compared to other people of your age and gender. So you can see on my lateral agility test, I could definitely got some room for improvement here. This is, uh, you know, I'm in the 40th percentile. On my 10 meter sprint, 
a little bit better, 100th percentile. Uh, 30 meter sprint, 100th percentile, so I'm pretty decent on my quick explosive burst of speed. Um, however, then you drop down to your one mile run, and this is, uh, this is indicative of how I've kind of been my whole life. Horrible at distance, pretty darn good at, sh horrible at long distance, pretty darn good at short distances, um, you know, even going back to when I was a kid. Then you've got your medicine balls, you know, medicine ball side throw left, side throw right, and uh, chest throw. So 60th, 40th, 60th, so definitely some room for improvement on some of those, uh, you know, some of those tests. So it goes through, you can see how you rank compared to other people of your same age and gender. And then what's really cool is you can check out some of the uh, hockey OT athlete scores. So these are some of the pro guys that are using the program that are doing the same tests that you do. So you have access to the same style of program, the same programs that the pros are using. And they're doing the same tests as we're doing. And you can check how your results compare to theirs. So here's you know some results for uh, Ethan Moreau from the LA Kings, Jarrett Stoll, LA Kings which incidentally just won the cup. So obviously this program is working pretty well for them. Uh, they've got to be happy about it. Then, uh, you know, a few other guys, I mean, you can just kind of check your, uh, your scores against some of these guys. So that's really neat. Um, so that's the testing. Once you finish your testing and you've uploaded your results, then you can go to your equipment check. This is really important to do this because the program is going to be based around what equipment you have available to you. So as you can see, you're going to check off everything that you have available to you um, so, you know, some people might have more, you know, a lot of stuff available. Some people might not have that much. But um, what we're going to do is check off everything you have available to you, and then the program will use the equipment that you've got to, um, you know, design your custom program for you. So it's not going to be prescribing an exercise that you can't do because it's not at your gym. It's another really nice thing about the program. So for me, I have a membership to a really good gym. We have most of the equipment as far as, you know, weights and different plyometric equipment, stuff like that, boxes, um, all that good stuff. There was a couple of things I didn't have. I also have quite a bit of stuff at home. So incidentally, I was able to check off quite a bit of this. But, um, you know, I was able to check off as much stuff as I have available to me. And then um, you click save. Then it's going to go to your routine. So actually, sorry, before that, you're going to go goal settings. Now, based on your test results, it's going to make a recommendation for you. One recommendation comes recommended. And then you can put a second goal. Sorry, one goal comes recommended. And you can put a second goal um, as an option. So for me... It's recommending, you know, increase my upper body strength. These are some of the options that it might choose for you. And if you, if you don't agree with it, you can change this. But I'm going to stick with what it's recommending because my test scores showed that. Um, and then the second one for me, I'm, I, I'm looking to improve on endurance. These are the other things you can pick. Faster first three steps. Change directions faster. For me, agility, you know, and you can kind of see in my test results, speed and agility hasn't really been a problem for me. But as I've been playing a little bit less hockey and, you know, kind of, uh, you know, getting a little older, my endurance isn't quite as much what it used to be. So that's what I'm looking for with this. So endurance and upper body strength are my two things. Save, and then you're going to click generate routines. Now, I've already generated my routines. So what you're going to do, though, is um, select out how many times per week in the weight room. And it makes recommendation as well. How many times per week at the track makes recommendations as well. And then how many weeks do you want this to generate for you? So we'll go for the four-week program. And then after the four weeks, we retest, recheck everything, and regenerate new routines. Um, but that's what we're going to go with. I've already generated my routine. So what we're going to do after you hit generate routine, then you can go ahead and click view routines. And this is everything that's going to that's going to uh, recommend for you. So these are my routines. As you can see, I've got two track workouts per week and two weight room workouts per week. And, um, you know, it's four weeks worth of workouts. So it's great stuff. Um, there's off-season and in-season routines. Now, I only did the testing for the off-season stuff. So I didn't do my in-season testing because right now as I'm making this video, we're in the off-season. So once you're moving into in-season, you'll do the in-season testing, which, uh, you know, has a different, a, a different group of tests and then it'll program in your in-season workouts for you as well. So with your membership, you're getting access to off-season as well as in-season workouts. Um, but let's just take a look at uh, one of these workouts. This is your track workout. So as you can see, you know, it's got, it's the same idea. So you can, you can print this out as a PDF or you can just look at it online, whichever you prefer. But what we've got here is, um, you know, everything you're going to do. So you've got your slow jog. And um, that's just your warm up. Then you've got a dynamic warm up, and there's a dynamic warm up exercise list. We'll click that, and you can see it pops up. So this is everything you're going to do for your warm up, and uh, it's got you know your tempo, 
uh, how far you need to do it for, a little description of it. There are also, if you go back into the website, there are also videos for each of these that you can look. You know, if you don't know what one of these is, just take a look at the video and uh, you're off and running. So let's go back to my workout page. Again, any of this, you've also got the videos that go along with it. So let's say that we didn't know what the vertical throw was. So we just go ahead, click the video, hit play. Vertical throw. Throw as high as you can. Use your whole body. Good. There you go. That's your example. So it shows multiple views, um, gives a little bit of explanation, any key points to watch out for, and, um, and that's that. So you can take a look, make sure you're using the same technique that they show in the video, and um, you're, you're good to go. So this is the workout for um, you know track day one, um, week one track, and um, it's just got you know all the stuff that you need. So you can print this out, um, or you can access it, you know, if, I don't know if you bring your phone or your iPad to the gym or whatever or to the track, you can access it online if you have the ability to do that. So after you've set your routines, taken a look at them, got yourself going on this, then what you're going to do is um, you need to have a nutrition plan. Nutrition is very important. It's great to have a good exercise program, but without fuel, the proper fuel, you're not going to be able to achieve your highest and best and, um, you know, you're, you run the risk of r running yourself down or not having the proper nutrition. So. They have a really cool nutrition plan as well. Go ahead and click that. Um, and then basically it makes a recommendation for you. And then there's some instructions on how you do it. But basically what you do is you go through. And so it's saying, okay, for me, it's recommending one to three carbohydrates for breakfast. So then we go and click build breakfast. So we hit build. Then we scroll down. So we say, okay, so we're going to start with two cups of water, two pieces of fruit. Choose one item from the carbohydrate directory. So we're going to go down. You can see we've got uh, different things. We're going to go carbohydrate. Okay. So now we're going to go like this. Click, uh, let's just say oatmeal. I like oatmeal. Add food. Okay. Okay. So once we've gone through that process with each one of these meals, then we're going to go through and click create and print my plan. And then that'll give you a printout that you can use um, for your meal plans. So as you can see, I kind of went through mine. Um, we'll pull it up here. You've got your nutrition plan. This is my breakfast, two cups of water, uh, two types of fruit. We've got your oatmeal. Um, and then it just tells you how to make the oatmeal in, you know, in the way that the program recommends. Um, and then lunch is um, you know, chicken breast, green salad. Then afternoon is cold cereal and the fruit. And you've got your dinner. This is a quinoa and black bean salad with salmon, beans and greens. And you can go through this, and this will, this will make you a complete meal plan that you can use to make sure that you have the proper uh, nutrition, proper nutrients as you're going through the program, which uh, enhances your results, makes sure you recover properly. It's a really good way of doing it. Last but not least, we've got your video library. Now, these videos are accessible um, within each individual routine, or you can just take a look at all of the videos all at once. So as you can see, there's literally dozens of videos here. Um, we've got a whole page of videos here, and then down here at the bottom you can see we've got all the way up to uh, you know 10 pages worth of videos. So very extensive, very well thought out, and well designed program. And uh, this is definitely, I'm using it myself right now, and definitely a program that I recommend and uh, would love to see as many, as many young athletes as possible using this to better themselves both during the off-season and in-season. So go ahead, click the link in the description. You'll be taken to HockeyOT.com. And once you get there, you'll notice there's a few different sign-up options based on whether you're registering as an individual, a team, or a league. So click the option that makes the most sense for you. And uh, it's a month-to-month -month membership. You can cancel at any time. There's no obligation. But uh, it's definitely a great program and one that I'm enjoying. I'm using myself right now and uh, having a lot of fun with it.